Hello and welcome to this webinar. I will show you how to create a fully functional, well designed, IPS inductive position sensor PCV. This video has visual examples with Renesas's IPS2200 integrated circuit. The design principle stays generally the same for the whole inductive position sensor family. Feel free to use this webinar as help for your future IPS designs as well. After a short system introduction, I will guide you through the essential knowledge about an inductive position sensor design, or in other words, an IPS design. You will learn about the currently available tools for a complete sensor design process. We will go into details about working with iCOT output files in Altium Designer. The iCOT is the inductive coil optimization tool. And finally, I will give you a walkthrough with the currently available IPS design templates. You can always skip a slide or hit pause to check the details in this video if you need more time. So, what is an IPS design? Or in other words, an inductive position sensor design. It's basically a printed circuit board with an IPS chip, some passive electronic components and wiring, and a set of inductive coils realized as PCB wiring and vias. These inductive coils consist of a transmitter and two receiver loops and they are connected to the IPS chip. If you need an inductive position sensor design, please contact your local sales or distributor partner to get access to Renesas's customer reference board catalog, also known as CRB. Please go to the company webpage at renesas.com and select your distributor or sales location. When you have access to the CRB, there you can find complete existing designs with all necessary design data, documentation, and also real measurement reports. You will find a perfect or near match for most of your needs. This catalog will be extended regularly. If you need a sensor with other dimensions or performance, please ask your Renesas contact partner for a new, customized set of coils, generated by the Inductive Coil Optimization Tool, also known as ICOT. You will receive brand new, optimized sensor coils, as Gerber files, and simulation results for three different air gaps. You can also download pre-designed, EMC-verified PCB templates as Altium project files or Gerber data. Just go to the inductive position sensor landing page at renesas.com and download the templates as Gerber files or Altium designer project. This webinar helps you to connect the coils with the template. The video is available on the product landing page at renesas.com. These are the four available tools that help you create a new IPS design. Let's dive into the details. After you receive the optimized sensors from your Renesas partner, please save and unpack the zip container. Then, you create a new CAM document in Altium Designer. Choose Import Gerber in the File menu. Make sure that all files are visible, then select Output.GBL, GTL, and Text. Press the Open button. Then, press OK in the next window. Errors and warnings should be zero. You need to do some more steps before you can use the coils in your PCB. Select Layers in the Tables menu. Set the text data as Drill Top, GTL data as Top Layer, and GBL data as Bottom Layer. Press OK, then set the Physical Layers order. Top is 1 and Bot is 2. Adjust Layer Sets in the Tables menu. Insert a new layer set, then assign drill layer to top and bottom as well. Set NC tools in the tables menu. Fill the first line with the VIA diameter's value, exactly as simulated with the coil optimization tool. Finally, you need to run the netlist extract in the tools menu. Now you can export your coils to a PCB. You can adjust VIAs. Select them as paths. You can change the shape, the hole size, and pad size as well. If you need more than two layers, adjust the layer stack. To shift one layer, select tracks and arcs. Make sure only the source and destination layers are visible. Select every object you want to shift. Then, select the destination layer. Turn on all visible layers again and you can see the result. 
you can use our pre-designed, Altium Designer Project, and Gerber templates, if you want to save time with the PCB layout design. Just download them from the Renaissance webpage, on the IPS Products landing page. Extract the zip container at your destination. By double-clicking the project file, it will open in Altium Designer. Double-click the PCB in the Altium project tree, and the layout will be opened, and ready for use. Feel free to adjust or remove any mounting holes, texts, or logos. Adjust the board shape, to fit the PCB into your system. Change the PCB layer stack, as needed. When your template is ready, go back to your coils you have just generated as PCB. Turn on all filters, and make sure all layers are visible. Then select everything. Copy them with 0, 0 origin coordinates. Then, go back to the template layout, and paste the copied coils at 0, 0 origin coordinates. To achieve a design as compact as possible, you can move the coils and the template placement closer to each other. Remove excess tracks from the TX coil first. Then, select the hole placement and wiring, and move the selection closer to the sensor coils. Please keep at least 3 to 5 mm, as safety distance between coils, and any copper areas. This helps you eliminate unwanted influence that would spoil your good sensor performance. To connect the coils to the template, their net names should match. Select one via, or track segment. Then press the tabulator. Then press it again to select the whole coil. Now, you can rename it to anything in your net list. Repeat for both our X and TX coils as well. For the shortest connections, take the nearest exits. Open them by shifting the end piece to the next layer. Place vias, then start the routing on both layers. Always perfectly overlapped. Repeat for both our X and TX coils as well. Always use coils, as generated by the tool, and don't change the exit geometry either. Overlap routing all the way, is the key to a good performance. Not overlap traces on the whole track, or just in shorter segments, will result unwanted negative effects in the sensor performance, therefore they must be avoided. Make sure, that all layers are filled with ground. You need to have at least one, fully filled ground layer below the IPS chip. Connect your ground layers with vias. Secure, an undisturbed return current path for your supply. Use very short tracks on ground layers, and only if necessary. If you need a PCB target, you can modify the one you find in the Altium project template. Delete any unwanted, and unused drawings. Define your board outline a bit larger than your copper outer diameter. A safety distance is needed to be kept for PCB manufacturing tolerances. For rotary target, draw the outline of one wing. Use the exact same dimensions as simulated by the ICOT. Generate a solid copper plane. And multiply that, to match your desired pole pair count. Finally, some hints for the schematic templates, by the example of the available IPS2200 sensor. You can remove, or change the green mark components freely but we suggest that you don't change the rest of the schematic. Attention, the sensor coils are never part of any template. Fully functional designs can be found in the CRB or customer reference board catalog. Brand new, custom tailored coils can be generated with the ICOT, the inductive coil optimization tool. Please ask for the help of your local Renesas contact partner. Thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye and have a nice day.